So I'm going to create a new virtual machine, and this is where we're going to install SmoothWall, which is the firewall, Linux firewall package or flavor of Linux that we're going to uh, use. It's very easy to manage. So we're going to continue without a disk, and I'm going to use an ISO file. The ISO file is actually not located on the data partition of our computers. It's actually on the uh, server, and it's underneath student share. Under student share, ISO files, you're going to see SmoothWall on that list. And we're going to choose SmoothWall Express 3.0. And hit continue, and it's going to choose Linux and Fedora as the version. That should work pretty good. And hit continue, and it does not need this much resources. So we're going to customize the settings. And for the location that we're going to save this, uh, we want to save this under on your USB flash drive, or I'm going to save it under VM, Advanced Networking, and I'm going to create a new folder for this and call this SmoothWall. So it's in the SmoothWall folder on my data partition under Advanced Networking. And I'm going to change the actual name to SmoothWall. I'm going to go SmoothWall 3.0 to be clear. And again, before I start it up, I'm going to change the amount of RAM to 512 is more than what it needs and I'm hit the tab key just to make sure that it actually goes down so 512 megs of RAM and disk space 20 gigs I guess is fine um, but the problem is you don't want to use SCSI you have to use IDE because this version of Linux doesn't have any SCSI drivers that comes with it so we're gonna have to delete this disk move the disk to trash or delete the actual physical the, the virtual disk that it came with and create a new IDE. You have to change the bus type to IDE disk. And 10 gigs is plenty. And this is a good option, especially if you're storing this on a USB drive. You want to split the virtual disk into two gigabyte partitions, or, or files, sorry. So hit apply. And I'm gonna hit show all now, and so I have a virtual machine Linux Fedora type and I have a 10 gigabyte IDE disk this is important and now for networking I'm gonna need two network cards so this first one I'm gonna change to host only because that is my private interface for my for the internal network of my little virtual network that I've created I'm going to add a second network adapter, and that is going to be connect directly using a, a physical network, or bridged. And auto detect is nice because it will automatically just pick whichever, whether it's my wireless card or my physical ethernet, it'll pick whichever one has a network connection. Um, otherwise, you can physically identify the ethernet um, port, and that's going to use my physical ethernet cable that's plugged in. Hit show all. So now I have two network adapters, 512 mega RAM, IDE disk. And CD is going to use the ISO for the smooth wall, which is up on the server right now. So I'm done. All I have to do is virtual machine library and power this on. So here's my smooth wall, and it should be running. All I do is click enter in here to install it. So it's welcome, smoothwall.org. Insert the CD-ROM drive, which is already in there because we boot off of it. Installation program will now prepare the hard disk, hit OK. And it's going to format everything on a 10 gig IDE disk that we created. going pretty fast. And now that we're done, it says we need to connect to our 
Linux box to configure it through a web interface. So you type in HTTP colon slash slash the IP address of your smooth wall colon 81. Or you can use HTTPS colon slash slash the IP address of your firewall colon 441. Whichever one you want to use. And you want to restore the configuration. We don't have a restoration, so I'm going to arrow over to, or keep it on no, because I'm not going to restore config. To arrow down to US keyboard, hit tab, hit OK, and give it a name. Smooth wall is fine, hit OK. And this is where I want to choose open. I do not want to leave it half open. I want to change the default security policy to open all the way. And I'm going to change here the network configuration type to green and red. Green being the internal private network, red being connection to the ISP's modem or our internet connection. And then I go down to drivers and card assignments. Do you wish to change these settings? Yes. And it's going to look for cards. And the first one it finds, it's going to assign to the green interface. And the second one it found, it's going to assigned to the red interface, which is the second network card in here was, remember, the bridged interface, so it's going to use the lab as our external internet connection. Address settings for the green interface, it defaults to 192.168.0.1, which then I'm going to have to use that as my internal network. I'm going to change that to 172.16.0.1 and I'm going to leave it a 32-bit uh, mask. Hit OK, so that's the IP address of my private interface and I arrow down to red and red is going to use DHCP. So I change red to use DHCP. It'll get an IP address from our ISP. Hit OK, tab tab the done and DNS and gateway settings, it'll also get through DHCP. So tab, tab, the done. And I don't have to configure any of these other settings. So I tab to finish. This is the password. And I'm just going to use password as a simple password for the admin user and the root user for this system. And setup is done. It's going to reboot. And that's pretty much the installation. It's going to reboot into Smoothwall Express. And my firewall is now ready to go. So I log in as root, and the password that I set is password. So if I type ifconfig eth0, I can see that eth0, which is my internal network, should have a 172.16.0.1. And then if I do ifconfig eth1, I can see that my external network card has an IP address from the lab which is the internet, which is 192.168.10.162. So now in order to manage this and configure it like I would a Linksys router or any other uh, firewall, I need to go from the internal of my network, from my host-only virtual network. So it's going to be from one of my virtual machines, like the Windows 7 Enterprise or the Windows 2008 server. I pull up a web browser, and I can type in 192 or 172 16 0.1 colon 81 in the web browser and I should be able to configure it. So I'm going to do that right now. So this computer is going to need an IP address. Change this to work. Network location. And now I need to change the adapter settings. Give this a 172. Oops. Dot 16. Dot 0. Dot. We'll say 100.
0.1 is the gateway, and we'll use 172.16.0.1 for my DNS server as well, because this firewall comes with a built-in DNS server. Open up Internet Explorer, and I should be able to type in 182.168, oops, sorry, 172.16.0.1. Colon 81, and I need to put HTTP in front of that. Probably want to make sure my network adapter, aha, there's my problem, it's host only. So here, we want to add, let's try that again, hit enter on that, there it is. So the login is admin and the password is password. And I want to add this to my list of protected sites, it's all good. So there's my smooth wall configuration now. So I go to status, it tells me how I can configure it. So oh. you can see how my smooth wall is configured. Advanced, and we can see the network cards 172.16.01, 192 and 68.10.62. This is the red interface, and there's the green interface. That's it. That's how we configure the smooth wall.